apologies for my language, but crusty, dusty, musty hair for years. Like her hair is going to take years to grow out. It's not hee hee or ha ha. Hey guys, it's Briar of Briar Chats and welcome back to my channel. If you like honest opinions, trash talking and the occasional dad joke, stick around because I think we will get along. So yeah, I don't know if you are a Briar Chats chatinator, just another bestie, just another gil, but you may have noticed that yeah, I have been away for a couple of weeks. Your gal went to the Eras tour and then I got sick, not from the Eras tour. I just think there's something going around at the moment. I don't know. But anyway, I am back, baby. I had actually already filmed two videos reacting and chatting about the JLo movie musical and documentary. However, something has uh, happened on TikTok that I felt like was maybe a little bit more timely, a little bit more pertinent that we simply had to bring to the besties. So in today's video, I simply wanted to chat about hair fail TikTok, how famous TikTok hairdressers have been targeting these girly pops on TikTok that have these hair fails, flying them out and saving their hair to get the likes, clicks and engagement. And this specific instance between Taylor and Alfredo Lewis that has gone unfortunately really wrong. So if you just wanted to chat about a little silly TikTok drama, catch up, react to some TikToks, like I don't know, it could be fun. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around and let's get into it. If you perceive my nails, you are in fact a hater. Okay, I do not want to hear about it. Okay, are you happy? It's gel, so I can't just take it off. I'm trying and ruining my nails in the process. Oh, slay. I was simply minding everybody else's business on TikTok when I, like many other people, started following along with the story. Taylor, if you do not know, is a TikToker. She went pretty viral initially because if you have eyes, you may may have noticed that she in fact, mm -hmm, yeah, she looks exactly like Kylie Jenner. I would almost say that Kylie Jenner tried to look like her because she looks like Kylie Jenner looks like, what, wait, no, that's, that ain't right. She looks like what Kylie Jenner looks like after surgery where this chick seems to have just gotten lip filler, but otherwise that seems to be her look. I don't know, it's crazy to me how similar they look alike, but, Irregardless, she went, became pretty popular on TikTok. She has like 700,000 followers. And obviously she went viral for looking like Kylie Jenner, but she just posts lots of unboxing, makeup, you know, lifestyle TikTok content as you do. And she posted a video, which is I think now deleted, of her trying to go blonde herself. She said that she was a, she went to beauty school. I, look. If you couldn't tell by the words coming out of my mouth, I'm not from America, so I don't really understand how beauty school works there, but it sounds like you learn about makeup, hair, all that jazz. She went to beauty school, so she felt like she had enough of an understanding of how to do her own hair. And look, as a girl, I am not gonna say nothing. I will keep my mouth shut because there is an instance that happened to me, me personally in 2020, everyone's favorite year, where maybe yes, I too thought that I could bleach my hair at home, but I did not have any experience and yeah, it turned out as about as good as you thought. So I am not here to cast judgment and I feel like it's very easy to scroll on your phone and throw stones. But anyway, I wanted to show you this video that kind of started it all off where Taylor had tried to go blonde and instead of getting a nice slay blonde orange canvas, she ruined her hair shave it all off at this point it's so damn it hey taylor first of all i love your name my name is alfredo uh, i'm a hairstylist um i don't know if you noticed but a lot of people were tagging me uh in your video that you just posted a few hours ago i'm really sorry that this happened to you um i understand how frustrating and just how devastating this can be for you with your hair um i saw your other video i was really kind of doing a deep dive in your page from what i see you had black hair you've had blue hair 
you lifted it out somewhat successfully. The first toner you did, you know, your hair felt a little damaged, but it looked okay when you dried it. I think what happened is that washed out. Also, a lot of people were telling you to go darker, do extensions. I get it. It can get in your head on social media sometimes. For me, it looks like when you went back to tone it again is when the damage happened. And I think sometimes people don't realize I would need to know more what you used. When hair is at that like breaking point, that line where you're going to cross into hair breakage, sometimes even a toner like was it alkaline, acidic? Did you use 10 or 20 volume? It can actually just take the hair past its breaking point, especially if you're not using products like K18 that I love so much. I talk about it a lot on my page. I would love to help you and talk to you. Um, I've been crazy. I just got done with the three day shoot. I'm about ready to go to Dubai for a week. But if we can connect before, I would be open to help you. I know that you live in Minnesota. Um, I already talked with Philip Wolf, who I work with a lot. I'm a hair color specialist. He's a cutting specialist. I don't know if you still want extensions, but we can definitely help your hair and get you some products ASAP. Um, and everybody, thank you again for tagging me. This is 2024. Um, but I really do love uh, helping people and saving their hair. I think we need more kindness on social media and in the world. And I would love to figure out if we can work something out. So this is a stitch with you. Let me know if you're into it. Check your DMs or stitch me back, whatever we need to do. And let's try to get on a call before I get out of the country. I'm going to be helping somebody named Stella in a few weeks. But uh, if you can hang in there and hang tight and we can talk, I think that we can help save your hair. So that is Alfredo Lewis. He is, I was about to say he's a TikToker. State the obvious. Anyway, he has 1.4-ish million followers on TikTok. This is one of his things. Like, obviously, yes, he's a color specialist, but also he has gone super viral for saving people who have done things like this to their hair. There's one girl that he's helped as well and helped her with extensions, and I swear... I say this with love and respect, but that girl is always trying to do the most to make her hair grow back. And it like, it actually stresses me out. Like it gives me anxiety because I'm like, sometimes you just got to let your hair grow. Let it grow, let it grow. You know, if you're not on TikTok or if you're not on hair talk, I even feel like this might seem like new and random and strange, but this is actually kind of a common thing that happens now, especially when they have bigger creators that involve these brands like K18, because obviously it's very much giving Aria Grande, I'm so successful. Yeah. If you as the brand fly someone out to go to a professional, like highly regarded TikTok hairstylist and they can fix super crazy damaged hair with their product, like, yeah, I'm so successful. K18 in this example is perceived by us girly pops watching these TikToks as being so successful and slay for your hair. So it's actually like a very much genius and very cerebral marketing techniques going on here because where to us, we're just like, oh my God, that's so nice that they're flying these people out from state to state to get their hair fixed it's all about the numbers it's all about the money 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 i'm on a roll with song references i'm sorry guys i'll try and speak it in just words the point i was trying to get to was that even though it seems like something very kind of nice but maybe a bit random to do it makes sense when you think about the fact that this is a very popular tiktoker who is part of the creator fund who works with brands that have products to repair damaged hair to fly someone out that also has a very big social media following and can show the transformation can show the results like the results can speak for themselves and you have a great success for story it's basically a hashtag ad hashtag sponsored but instead of in money it's in like flights and a sleigh hair transformation he was not the only one to reach out to her but he was obviously the one that she chose and i understand why because he like i said before this is kind of his shtick online like he's gone viral for this a couple times and he's done extensions transformations so now i wanted to show you just the consultation and the final part i'm don't want to show you all of it it is still on his TikTok. I think she's taken down some of hers, but I'm pretty sure his TikToks are still up. So I just want to kind of show you the consultation and then the final results, if you will. Taylor's here. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Taylor. Hi. Welcome to Los Angeles, all the way from Minnesota. Yes. Oh my gosh. So we're here. It's time for a major hair transformation. Tell us like what happened and then let's get into what we're going to do about it. 
basically I've bleached my hair three times now. I've used two different color removers, but I've used one of them two different times. I've tried toning twice and it's just not good. <laughs> and you were like super distraught. That's why they were tagging yeah. us and we got, you know, luckily it brought us together. So thank you TikTok, bringing people together one head of hair at a time. Um, but it's definitely a little crunchy. It's a little crunchy. But so much better thanks to K18. Your hair is such an in-between color. It's like that hay color and it feels like it. So first I want to fill you with like triple gold. It's something I do in a lot of these color corrections. So it's going to fill it, make it even softer with the K18. And it's going to just give you a nice palette for me to work with. And then I'm going to come in with like a medium chocolate brown and a little bit of gold with that. And we're just going to give you this beautiful, rich brown color. I may weave out some of these pieces and put a light five volume just to give you some pops. And then we are gonna do extensions, but like we love the length. So I'm gonna show you like, this is kind of the color I'm thinking. What do you guys think? Beautiful, look at that. And I may even sandwich it with this here so that you have a little bit of like a pop of blonde. I can sandwich these two together. And then lastly, I'm gonna send you home with Callisum. This is like my other secret weapon. Like K-18's for the hair, Callisum is for the scalp. The and scalp. I know you said you've had some, a little bit of thinning from the breakage and it's been really stressful for you. This is a course, it's six weeks. And I'm gonna send this home with you because you can't color and do calcium, but I'll show you how to do it and send you home with it. And I think it's gonna be like so good for your scalp, help your hair grow faster, thicker, bring some of the volume back. Taylor, what the fuck happened to your hair? Bleach fail part two, but first. And, and also there were so many rats ratting out there. Can we just talk about it for a minute? Yeah, it's, it's ew. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of tried to ignore it, but you know. Yeah, it's, but it gets, we're gonna make fun. you all gag and you're gonna be so jealous. So I just wanted to show that little bit of part two before we got to the finale because an interesting that happened with this hair fail was a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, Taylor totally ruined her hair on purpose for the likes, clicks and engagement. And call me gullible. If the shoe fits, I'll wear it. But to me, I often find that people are not that good of an actor and Taylor to me seemed very distraught about what she had done to her hair like I feel like doing a hair transformation on TikTok is enough like I don't think she was looking to have this whole crazy journey let alone all the drama that is about to unfold but yeah I just wanted to point out that that was something that came up a lot was that Taylor did this on purpose she wanted to be flowing out to LA so that you guys could fix her hair like no like maybe that's fun for a second but then you literally have to grow out apologies for my language but crusty dusty musty hair for years like you like her hair is going to take years to grow out it's not hee hee or ha ha at the end of the day it's serious but any slay let's now watch the finale and what kind of started the drama Basically, Here's the finale, I've part three. My hair three times now. Let's get into the finale with results and do a quick recap. As you heard there from our consult, Taylor did extensive damage to her hair at home, bleaching her hair multiple times using color removers. We got K18 to her in Minneapolis, and they were so gracious to fly her to LA for this one to help us save her hair. Um, I filled her hair with gold, did a 5N and 5G right on top of it, did some wet balayage. I wanted to do an old money brunette with balayage, and I was so thrilled with the color. Philip Wolf came in and just cut off the dead ends and then came in there and did some texturizing and shaping of her hair. Um, it was such a joy. You guys were so vicious. There were so many rats in the comments with Taylor. You know, she would never, like, who would actually do this like on purpose, of course she made a mistake and did her own hair, but nobody does these things to themselves. Look at that color though, what do you guys think? So a lot of you guys were asking me what I prescribed to Taylor. After Philip came in and did some texturizing, I gave her callusum, that's callusum right there. That has an ingredient called PTCT, PTT6 that's patented and it wakes up sleeping hair follicles. I was showing her there how to use it. You can't color same day. She's gonna do this twice a week at home and the damage that she had, there was some bald spots on her hair. This is gonna help her on a scalp level to help her hair grow back faster. Then I added Bellamy Hair Pro extensions there. If you see there, that color was a perfect color match. We didn't want to add length, actually. We liked the length maybe a little bit, like for a lob. So Philip Wolf came in there and gave it an amazing shaping. And then Makeup by Love Andrea did makeup. 
Philip is using Design Me there. He's using their spray, and that's their Puffed Me. I am obsessed with that. It adds volume to the hair. But look at Taylor's hair, and yes, I also think she looks exactly like a Kylie Jenner doppelganger. She is absolutely stunning. We finished off with the KT Molecular Repair Hair Oil. There is the before. Here is the after. Did we slay this? Did we eat and leave no crumbs? Let us know what you think in the comments, and here is a final gorgeous shot of Taylor with her hair up. If you're like me, and you were just observing, you were just watching, you were just taking this whole thing in. When I saw the reveal, I was like, huh, that is a choice. Like that, the choices were chosen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. And I will say, I think that the makeup, they were trying to like emphasize how Kylie Jenner does her makeup, at least to me, me, me personally, I don't know. What do I know? I felt like her before makeup suited her much better. And a lot of people, again, like me, again, I have no like individual thoughts or opinions. No, don't even get it twisted. They just were like a bit whelmed. Like we were not so underwhelmed, but it was just a bit like, uh, sure, right, totally. It just wasn't giving what I think they hoped it would give, if you even know what I'm slaying. It was kind of the overwhelming vibe of it all. So a lot of the comments were saying things like, I wonder if she is as disappointed as we are. So Alfredo posts this update. I wanted to address some of the negative comments on my last post about saving Taylor's hair. Um, to the 65,000 of you that like the post, thank you. To like the 4,000 comments saying that you don't get it, that you love it, you think it looks gorgeous, thank you. But to the many of you that came for this hair, this video is for you. As far as I was concerned, this is the last moment of the hair transformation with Taylor. Great. I love it, I love it so much. Thank you guys so much. We love you, thank Our you for pleasure. testing us. The next morning, I got that post that you dream about. Good morning, I just wanted to say thank you so much for everything again. I was kind of out of it yesterday because I only slept a few hours, but this was such an amazing experience and I'm in love with how my hair turned out. So now I wanna get into the lighting. Okay, we have two giant ring lights because I hate daylight savings time. And if you're a content creator, if you know, you know. I can't wait for it to be lighter longer. Um, but I'll be honest, I actually love the color and a lot of you did too. I love the warm balayage, the old money caramel highlights. Um, but in real life, let me show you what Taylor's hair looks like at her house in her own lighting. I didn't recolor it. Um, I think the lighting was kind of like weird in that video. So maybe it looked a little bit orange, but it doesn't look like that in real life. It looks really nice. Um, it's really pretty. I love it a lot. Uh, after the treatments and everything. I think we're gonna be in a very nice spot. So uh, how do you feel about that? I, just with you, I just feel like this type of length really works for you, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, you're I... so stunning. You got these beautiful <laughs> collarbones right here. <laughs> I know, no, this is gonna- I got into this because I wanted to help people who had been through extreme trauma, either from a DIY hair like Taylor did to herself, um, or at the hands of a stylist even sometimes where they had a bad experience. So the last thing I wanna do is have Taylor not be happy. Um, but clients, let us know what you want. Even though we did Taylor for free, K18 was so amazing. They gave her first class airfare, put her at the Mondrian, black cars. We did her hair for free, but you've gotta let us know what you want. That consultation is so important. We need to know exactly what it is what you want, um, or else we're gonna think that you want us to use our expertise. And I think that Taylor looks beautiful with the bomb, but I would have her back anytime out to LA. Uh, thank you guys for watching these videos. It means so much to us. Honestly, all the comments, all the love, um, but I just wanted to address those things um, with you guys and you know, just say all love. Now, the first thing that I thought was very interesting about this video is the comment section because I could not help but notice that he was really hyping up the comments that were on his side. Crickets on people that had a criticism, a question, a qualm, or a concern. Because like I have, I'll, show, I'll be showing the screenshots here, but it's like, you know, you can, literally cannot go to from damaged and fried hair to healthy hair in one day. 
it looks amazing and it's just a bit awkward like there's quite a few examples of this where people pointing out they know exactly how she feels where it's like you tell the hairstylist one thing and they go and do the whole opposite then that and sit there and you tell them it's exactly what you wanted lol I 100% understand her crickets on that comment but then people being like I think it looks so good don't worry about the haters like he liked it and said love you it's just interesting the energy that has been given to different people People. Another thing that I find incredibly interesting is the way that he is kind of weaponizing that a company, a hair company flew her out and got her to the nines with the hotel, the flights, the transport, whereas he did it for free. Look me in the eye for, and be so for real right now. You're telling me that you get nothing out of doing these hair transformations. These do not go incredibly viral on TikTok, which pays you through the creator fund. You do not get sponsorships and collabs with brands because they want to be on videos that go viral on TikTok. Oh, you just do it for free. Mm -hmm. Whereas she was the one that got flown out first class, got treated so amazing and got her hair done for free and you just did it out of the kindness of your heart. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Anyway, so obviously, shocking to no one, Taylor has responded to this. That is not what you want. That consultation is so important. We need to know exactly what it is what you want um, or else we're going to think that you want us to use our expertise and I think that Taylor... Okay, I don't even know if I am going to post this, but I just want to clear some things up um, because I feel like... People are trying to make this my fault right now when I know for a fact I expressed what I wanted. When Alfredo first made the video reaching out to me, I said, I've been wanting extensions for so long, but I haven't been able to afford them. I had to cut my hair very short because of the damage. Okay, that's the first time I kind of said anything about it. The second time was when he called me on the phone and he said, basically, we have like a couple different options. We can do extensions if you want extensions or we could do a bob. And I remember saying, I don't want a bob. I miss my old long hair and I would love to have extensions if we could do that. Like I, that would be amazing. So I kind of went into this with the idea and the thought that I was going to have this long, beautiful hair. Next, he kind of asked me for inspira inspiration pictures. So I made sure in each of the pictures I typed in long hair. Um, and, and these were the pictures that I had sent him. So, I mean, we got there with like the color and everything like... The color looks really good. It's really good. Um, but, you know, it's just it's just not the length that I wanted. I think the main reason why he didn't do extensions is because when I got there, he told me that the extension company didn't want to work with him. So that's really the main reason why um, that I don't I think that it didn't happen. Um, and I understand that. And that's why I didn't bring it up again, because he said basically when he got there, he said, we're going to do a bob. And then he said the extension company didn't want to work with him. So I was just like, OK, I guess. I also thought this comment was really funny because I did get home and cry. <laughs> um, I did. I did. I had Olaplex in my DMs um, offering to fly me out to fix my hair, to do whatever I wanted to do, extensions. I, I talked with them. I had multiple other hair, like famous hairstylists in my DMs offering to help me. Um, but I, I chose Alfredo because I, I figured he'd be able to give me like beautiful, like long hair. And it is beautiful, but it's just... It's not, it's not my cup of tea, um, the length and like the, the cut. Um, there's, I mean, there's little short pieces like all over and those are the layers and you know, it's my fault. It is my fault for not um, communicating enough while I was there. Um, but I've always been taught to just like be thankful and you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. So I, I was, I was very thankful, but I was also really sad and a little bit brokenhearted that I didn't get what I, I wanted. Um, and I, I, I hate making this video. I hate it, but I just wanted to address some of the comments and basically him saying that I needed to communicate more when I did I definitely did um it's just a little bit messed up I don't want to be painted out to be like the person who was in the wrong because I don't feel like I was and especially with this comment I mean Alfredo was frustrated because she didn't communicate properly what she wanted I did communicate what I wanted it just I didn't communicate when I was there in the chair because he said the extension company did not want to work with him or pay him or whatever it was um but I just feel a little bit sad um I could have went with anyone else and I feel like they would have actually given me what I wanted and I know beggars can't be choosers and whatever, but I, yeah, I just kind of wanted to clear that up. I don't like the drama. I love Alfredo. I love everyone that I got to meet. I'm so thankful for the experience, but I just don't want this, like, this this idea of me out there. I know he's going to post these, so I'm just going to put them up too. Um, yesterday, this was our conversation because I had said that in the comments, the reason why he didn't do extensions is because he told me that the extension company wouldn't pay him. I ended up deleting that comment, but he said, saying I didn't do extensions because I wasn't getting paid is not true. That felt shady to me. Um, when he literally told me that while I was sitting there in the chair, he told me that the extension company didn't want to work with him and that's why he didn't want to do them. So, um, yeah, 
I don't know. It's just really weird to me, but yeah. I just kind of feel like I'm being gaslit a little bit right now. Um, so yeah, just wanted to clear some things up for you guys. Sorry this video was so long. Um, I really don't want to start any drama, but I do kind of wish that I went a different route with my hair um, because it's just, it's not what I wanted. Raise your hand if you have paid for your hair to be done only to go home and cry about it because it's not what you wanted. So imagine if you were put in a situation like that, except because you were the one that damaged your hair and other people are telling you sh you should be grateful because you got flown out for free. People keep talking about how they did it for free and they're giving you your expertise. You just need to accept it. Like it's now your fault because you damaged your hair. You didn't speak loud enough. Like it's your fault. I'm sorry, that is mean. That is sick and twisted and I don't, I don't get it. It's such a fear that so many people have when you're like, oh my gosh, am I gonna like it or am I gonna hate it? It. like you just don't know and it's because it's such a common thing that happens literally when we're paying our own money we're taught to just accept it and say we love it instead of saying what we actually think so the fact that we feel like we can't even speak out enough about it when we pay for it I can only imagine how little you would feel like you have the right to even say a of this isn't what I asked for. And especially when someone is the one that's organizing the deals, whatever, whatever, get to the chair and they say, mm, sorry, no extensions for you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, mm, sorry, not sorry. It just feels manipulative. You didn't have to do her hair for free. We are not stupid. We will not be manipulated into thinking that you were just doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Brands and big creators get a lot out of these transformations. Brands get the publicity, they get the sales from it, they get the proof, they get like the physical transformation. Like for K18, it's like a literal physical transformation that we've received from her hair literally being that weird texture where it literally is so cooked. Like it's crispy crunchy noodles dinner's ready from that to this it's a perfect ad for them they would have made way more sales than whatever they paid for her to fly out and go to see him and they don't even have to pay him allegedly they are making way more back in that and they also have a budget for that so it's just weird to me that people are like you should just be grateful doesn't mean you just get to do whatever you want to her hair doesn't mean you get to make someone unhappy because you're doing it for free like that's suspicious and weird Anyway, this is her next video because responding to some comments on her video. Have you ever gotten your nails done and they were so bad, like four of them were going in different directions, it wasn't even the shape that you had said that you wanted and it was they were just terrible, but you still tipped them and you still said thank you and you still said you liked them because you felt bad that they put their time and their energy and their hard work into it. The girls that get it, get it and the girls that don't, don't. I was always raised to be grateful and thankful and tip no matter what. So yes, of course I thanked him and of course I said I wanted to tip him because I was still appreciative. Even though I hated it, I still was appreciative. But what was I supposed to do? After I had already flown out there, I was away from my family having really bad anxiety. I was sat in his chair with a camera on my face and three people who I didn't even know surrounding me. Like, what was I supposed to do? Tell them that I didn't like it and that I wanted something different? They were already kind of like coercing me into getting the bob. They, I remember specifically, he said, we're going to do a bob. And I was like, oh, I don't know about that. And he's like, it'll, it's okay. It'll be cute. It'll be really cute. You have these really nice collarbones. And they were all trying to say like, your face is so nice. Like you'll definitely fit a bob. It was manipulative. It was very manipulative. I had told him specifically before I got there, I didn't want a bob. My hair is like orange and like, five different shades of brown. I feel like I really could have done this with box dye and it would have turned out better. I wouldn't even ever have started making these videos if Alfredo wasn't liking um, comments that were bashing me and commenting under videos that were saying that are saying that I'm mentally ill and making fun of my looks. He's commenting under videos like that, thanking them for saying stuff like that. He's really, really unprofessional and just acting really mean. He's even texting girls to make videos about me and giving them discounts because they're making these videos. Taylor drama is officially over. Um, I just got informed this morning that she took her video down. Alfredo texted me. Um, I
The video that she made before that was so nasty. And she went on to say that he's going to be giving her a discount on um, her next service. Also called me ungrateful from the very first video that I made. Um, where I had said that I was grateful multiple times, it just wasn't quite what I wanted. This is honestly all so sad, um, and I just feel like people are really money hungry, and they act like they do things out of the kindness of their heart, but it's really all money motivated. I think it's crazy that he's still continuing to say, it's all for free, I do it all for free, but he's getting paid so much money, um, not just because of the creator fund, but from the brands that he is um, sneaking ads in throughout his videos. Maybe I'm a girl's girl, but I, when I watch her tone and her mannerisms, the way she speaks, where she's coming from, I just get a lot more sincerity than I did from him. I agree. It feels very manipulative and deceptive to say that you do this for free when yes, maybe she's not paying for the literal service, but she a still tipped you and you still make money from doing these services. So you're not doing it for free she was literally still trying to be like it's so pretty like the brown is still pretty the color still pretty it's just i didn't want a bob and people could tell like literally like we are girls like if you've seen you know that feeling when you're sitting in the chair and you're smiling and you're waiting to go back to your car to have a cry don't look at me like you haven't done it before like we know that kind of a smile over like genuinely loving it so much and i think again like he was just so quick to throw her under the bus and even though i didn't see those other videos i can definitely say i've seen the comments and the ones that he's choosing to react to and like versus the ones he's not. He's really not interested in the criticisms of him. He is interested in the people who are on his side. So anyway, I have the final videos for you guys. They've both said this is their final response. So we will start with Alfredo and then we will go to Taylor. Hey guys, this is Alfredo. I'm super sad right now. This is gonna be a serious video. I barely slept last night. I've been in bed all day. I've never had my mental health affected from social media. I know it happens a lot to people, but this whole Taylor thing is completely out of hand. Um, I did this because I wanted to help her to do something nice. We flew her out for free um, and she has us all blocked, but people are sending me a video that she just made that I'm like shaking right now because it's just such lies. And I don't know why she's doing this. I honestly don't know. Sorry, I'm not trying to laugh. The shaking right now just reminded me of the uh, Demoted podcast where he was like, I'm so angry, I'm shaking. Like, why do people say that? To me now that that always comes across as like a disingenuous response to a situation. Loved Taylor. We had the best time with her. She was so happy. Um, I'm gonna show you my receipts, which is so dumb. I didn't want to do this. I'm a grown man. Um, I am, like I said, I've been doing hair 30 years. I'm 50 years old. Like, I'm not gonna fight with a young mother, you know? And, I, and I'm just, um, I'm beside myself at the comments, the bullying. Um, we had the best intentions with Taylor. And I'm gonna show you first of all. I showed you this one before, but like, she's saying she loved her hair and how her hair turned out if I have any shots. Um, that was the next day, that was Friday. We did her hair on Thursday. And then here's Saturday's text. I also wanna get all of your cash apps so I can give you tips. I feel so bad I wasn't able to while I was there. I've been so broke lately and waiting on payments. Are we gonna post the final one Monday? If you didn't like your hair, why would you ask, like wanna pay us? This was Saturday. And then on Sunday, she texts me again how excited she was that she's been talking to Stella. She can't wait for the video. Um, if she had said, I'm unhappy with the haircut, which by the way, I did the color. I did not do the haircut. Um, that was a consultation with her and Philip. And she, I'm gonna show you guys the videos right now. So I, I'm just asking myself, like, what is her real intention here? I don't understand it. Like, I'm heartbroken. If she had told me in this text message she was sad, guess what I would have done? Flown her back out on my dollar and given her extensions, which we gave her extensions. So just watch these videos, and then I just want to be done with this, but please, like, this is really affecting me, and I don't understand. Like, I saw all the other stuff. Like, she seems to be love fighting people on social media. That is not who I am. I like helping people and I'm not gonna stop because of her, but this is just completely out of hand. Um, and I just, I just can't. I love it. 
<laughs> ready, Parker? Ready? <laughs> so cute. It's the whole I love it. Absolutely love it. I didn't recolor it. Um, I think the lighting was kind of like weird in that video, so maybe it looked a little bit orange. But it doesn't look like that in real life. It looks really nice. Um, it's really pretty. I love it a lot. So what I don't understand is like why, why all these videos, why all this drama? Like I, I don't do this. I got into this because I wanted to help people. All the other girls that I've helped, I'm still friends with them. Um, and I don't understand it. Like if she wasn't happy, we would do anything to make her happy. We loved her. We loved having her in the salon. Everything was great. I wasn't on my phone all the time. And also I have not made $5,000 from this. Um, the whole Bellamy thing, I tagged them. If you look in the video, I tagged them and we used extensions. I'd be happy to give her long hair. Not anymore. No way. And also, she said other brands. She was talking trash about the other brand the whole time that they break people's hair about the lawsuits. I don't even want to get into it. She also talked about Kylie and Selena and that Kylie was going to use her and then canceled her because she was talking bad about them. And I just left that all alone. I don't get into that drama. It should have all been red flags for me. We flew her out first class. We got her a hotel. Like, what more does she want? I understand. Like, if, if she had honestly told me in the chair or even afterwards, like, we would make it right. But at this point, it's completely out of hand. And I'm just so hurt. If anything else, I'm sad and... Taylor, if we've, if we've failed you in any way, I'm so sorry, but this does not seem genuine to me. Like, even in my text messages yesterday, I told her, I'm not gonna come back for you. I'm not gonna show all the receipts I have because I don't wanna hurt you. And then she blocks us all and makes that video right now. What is that about? And she says, it's because I'm commenting back. People are just showing me support and I'm saying thank you. This is like childish. Like, I, I, I will not talk about this again, guys. I am, I'm gonna keep helping people with their hair but I'm not gonna talk about this again. I have better things to do, like with my life and my time. And um, I do work for brands. Everybody knows that that's not a secret. I'm, I'm an influencer, but uh, this was not a paid thing. Um, and you know, if anything, it was paid for. So I feel like it's really ungrateful and really unfortunate. And um, I don't know what to say because I don't, I don't know who this person is that is making these videos. It's not the person that was at the salon. I do see where he's coming from in the sense of like, you probably should have said something. I understand though, if she felt like she couldn't. So that's why I really like, at the end of the day, we don't know these people. And so I'm just going off of vibes. I could be so wrong for this. I just feel like the things that he says against her, he really is trying to bring down her character, you know, saying that she, there was all these red flags about her. She was, you know, basically pointing out that she's a liar either now or then for saying she loved her hair. I do think that she should have probably spoken up and not said that, but I also understand why you would be too intimidated to. I don't know that I would have been able to speak about it. And I think a lot of people in the comments agree that are saying that they are on Taylor's side and they're like, you know, hairdressers saying they're on Taylor's side. That is the genuine consensus. And I think it is because of the way he talks about her and the way he tries to make it seem like he's the one that's so generous and giving her so much and would have flown her out on his own money if she didn't like it. He clearly wasn't listening to her when she was telling him what she wanted. It's funny that he then uses her own words against her and saying that she's ungrateful basically saying that she's trashing everyone you know he's still friends with everyone yeah i get what he's trying to say but it's also just the fact that he's trying to say like clearly she's the problem and not me because everyone else i've done their hair i'm still friends with so it's not me that could be the problem and also when he said if we failed you it's like so you still don't think that you didn't hear her or you didn't listen or you chose to do something else when she said she wanted something else. And I think it's interesting to me that someone that's been a hairdresser for so long can't pick up on those very obvious awkward body language cues. Like to me, I don't know, maybe I'm asking too much. Maybe I'm asking for too much, but I would have just thought that if you've been a hairdresser that long, surely you would pick up on the cues of someone being uncomfortable and when they actually like their hair versus when they're just saying it because they feel too awkward to say anything else. But anyway, let's get into the final video, which is Taylor's final response. This is the absolutely last video that I'm making about this, but I'm done being Mr. Nice Guy and I'm exposing it fucking everyone. I'm exposing everything. 
The whole time I was there, Alfredo barely talked to me. He was on his phone the whole time. Or if he wasn't on his phone, he was talking with Philip about how they were going to get paid, how they were going to make so much money, how this is going to go so viral because I look like Kylie Jenner. I really do feel like they used the shit out of me and it's fucked up. Alfredo's in the creator fund, so 3 million, 5.6 million, 1.2 million, he's gonna make bank off the videos that he made about me. He's gonna make over, well around like $5,000 or more. And that's just for the videos. He gets paid by K18, he gets paid by Tangle Teaser, he gets paid by the Hair Regrowth brand. The only reason he didn't do the extensions is because he wasn't going to get paid by them. He told me he had lots of extensions there, he just didn't want to use them because he wasn't going to get paid by them. The fact that he's being messy now, I'm fucking done. I am done. They used the shit out of me trying to profit on me looking like a celebrity it's messed up and while i was there i even told them the reason why i bleached my hair in the beginning is because i hate the kylie comparisons i don't like it and the fact that they keep saying oh she looks like kylie jenner kylie jenner in the videos because they're trying to they're trying to exploit me and they're trying to make more money and get more views with it the fact that Alfredo is liking comments right now that are bashing me, commenting under videos that are completely bashing me and talking crap about me, saying I'm ungrateful, is just so unprofessional. Like, this dude is so unprofessional. It is insane. And call me whatever, but this shit is patchy. Y'all were right. This shit is patchy and it looks bad. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be so honest. It looks bad. It's giving Y2K Kelly Clarkson. It is. It's not cute. Okay, I did get home and cry. I did. The fact that these were the inspo pictures and this is what I got, it's it's not it's not it. He was a very very sloppy. It took little to no time. Alfredo barely took any time on me. I will say maybe maybe an hour, probably not even. The rest of the time he was on his phone or it was Philip doing my doing the rest of my hair. The whole thing felt very rushed, very, very rushed, and it didn't feel like he put a lot of effort into it at all. Call me ungrateful, call me whatever the fuck you want, but I know my worth, I know what I'm bringing to the table, and I made him well over $5,000 just because of my face. So call me ungrateful, <laughs> say whatever you want. Yeah, I didn't pay him, but I did pay him, so. <laughs> a lot of you guys don't understand what collabs are, especially with creators who have a big following you don't understand how much money there really is in that just because i didn't pay him means nothing i had multiple other opportunities and offers from other companies and brands yet i chose him because i thought he would give me what i wanted and he didn't so there's i, I was really never bashing him or trying to be mean to him i was just saying i didn't get what i wanted and he's saying that i needed to communicate more and i'm like hold up I did communicate. Don't I have the receipts? Don't do that. No, don't lie. Don't do that. I communicated. Don't lie. Y'all can hate me and call me ungrateful, spoiled brat, bitch. I've heard all of it. I don't care. I'm not. I know my fucking worth. I know how much money I made him. It's way more than you guys could ever imagine. Not just to mention, he's getting paid by other brands too. He got paid by multiple brands just for those videos. I do think that that is such a good point. That is probably why so many people were fighting over to fix her hair because her looking like Kylie Jenner is viral content. It is viral material because TikTok, you wanna grab your attention quickly. What will grab your attention more quickly than someone that looks super similar to Kylie Jenner? To me, it just doesn't really make any sense that we make people feel like they can't know their worth or know what they bring to their t the table or weaponize it or just tell them they should be grateful because they didn't pay them exactly for the service when it's very clear that this is something that is successful that Alfredo is doing otherwise he wouldn't keep doing it like why else would he keep saving people's hair and don't say it's because he's helping people with extreme trauma sure it is traumatic to have your hair be damaged but is it extreme trauma 
you decide. But I don't know. I just find the whole situation very sad and very messy. I don't get it. To me, it felt like from the beginning, he was very quick to throw her and Philip under the bus because Philip did the haircut and she said she loved it and she didn't communicate properly. Where up until that final video where he really dragged her through the mud, she was still trying to say she liked her hair, it just wasn't what she wanted or there wasn't anything bad about her hair. When you can literally see the weird mark, like you know, the marks on her hair. Maybe that's just something that should be expected when your hair is so damaged that it's not gonna look very clean and smooth. I don't know, I'm not a hairdresser, just a girly pop. But there was a huge difference in the way that he was so quick to throw everyone else under the bus to make it not his fault to say how much he did for her and how he would have personally thrown her out with his own money. Whereas she was still trying to maintain that relationship, not tear him down whilst getting kind of drugged through the mud. I feel like luckily for her in this situation, because all of us girls, like we have seen this film before, we have had our hair done not how we asked for. We know that face. We know that glassed over smile. We know that very awkward, I love it. Look me in the eye right now and tell me you haven't told someone you love it when you don't. Like it's, I'm sorry, we are, we fib because we want to save people's feelings and maybe we shouldn't do that. And maybe if she had just communicated that in the beginning, that would have never happened. We saw right through it because we've been there. Do not ask me about when I cut all my hair off and wanted to go blonde and I ended up having a Karen cut. Now that I think about it, maybe it is extreme hair trauma because that was, that was traumatic. You know, like we've all been there. We've all done crap to our hair and it's upset us. I totally understand why she's trying to now break away from the Kylie comparisons. So again, to just bite her tongue and just have herself be constantly compared to Kylie in their videos. Like it was literally every second, like Kylie, Kylie, Kylie. But anyway, now I would love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. I don't feel like there's like someone was completely right and someone was completely wrong in the situation. I think overall, I kind of get a better vibe from Taylor. But like I say, I don't know these people in real life. I don't follow either of these people on TikTok. So I don't really know them even as an online personality. So I would really love to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Please let me know. Do you have any insight, opinions, things that I didn't think of because you always have good thoughts. And I love that for you guys. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. If you stay till the end, you are a real one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you want to keep up with me between my uploads, I'm on TikTok and Instagram. And I will link my vlog channel down below. But don't you worry, guys, because I'm not funny there either. Bye.